This video was adapted from an article written by Melissa KB for Mashed.com. As someone who has lived in New York for close to 10 years, I've luckily gotten to eat at many of the delicious steakhouses the city has to offer. Our list is from real New Yorkers who know the best of the best. Gallagher's is located right in the heart of the theater district of Manhattan, steps away from Times Square. It's a great spot to go before or after seeing a Broadway show. The restaurant originally opened in 1927 as a speakeasy by a retired Ziegfeld Follies dancer named Helen Gallagher. With its rich history and prime location, Gallagher's is a great stop for someone visiting the city or for a New Yorker who wants to explore more of the city's oldest restaurants. With photos of famous actors and sports heroes of New York plastering the walls, elegant tablecloths, and excellent service, the ambiance matches the quality of the food. Hannah Fairman, longtime New Yorker, shared her and her husband's love for Gallagher's. Lately, we have found that the best steakhouse in the city is Gallagher's. We usually get the porterhouse for two, which has the filet on one side and sirloin on the other. We love the smokiness and the crispy sear on the steaks at Gallagher's. Gallagher's is the only steakhouse in New York City that grills their steaks over hickory coals, and it absolutely makes a difference. La Grande Boucherie is a French steakhouse that oozes style and elegance. It has a modern yet classic ambiance, which is represented in the cocktails, the decor, and the music. There are multiple locations throughout the city. Union Square and West Village have a few locations, and they are all uniquely decorated to match the vibe of the area. The main location is in Midtown Manhattan, tucked away on West 53rd Street and 6 and a half Avenue. This is where I dined, and let me tell you, it's one of the most beautiful restaurants that I've ever been to. There is a large, stunning bar that stretches along the length of the restaurant. Breathtaking vaulted ceilings with ornate stained glass windows make the space feel even more grand, hence the name. There is greenery strewn throughout that makes it feel like you've left the city. As for the food, I was more than impressed. The steak frites at La Grande Boucherie taste just like what I experienced in Paris. It was cooked perfectly, and the herb butter just made it melt flawlessly in the mouth. The french fries were also delicious, especially with the peppercorn sauce. Peter Luger is one of those famous restaurants that actually lives up to the hype. Located in Brooklyn, right off of the beautiful Williamsburg Bridge, it's a very old-school and classic steakhouse that was established way back in 1887. Dark wood, dim lighting, and an overall intimate setting offer great ambiance for a cozy date night. The menu itself isn't very extensive, but that's because the restaurant knows what it does best. Along with your choice of steak, you can go for a classic side like creamed spinach or a baked potato. As for the steaks, Peter Luger takes great pride in its selection and aging process. It dry ages all of the beef at its facilities on site. Brendan Price, a New Yorker and tough self-proclaimed food critic, enjoys the overall experience at Peter Luger. He shared, A good steakhouse knows how to make a good steak, but a great steakhouse knows what you want out of your experience when you have a steak. The atmosphere at Peter Luger is that old steakhouse vibe without being cliché, and the appetizers, as well as the sides, collectively complement the steak's flavor without distracting from it. All around, it's an experience made for one thing, eating the meats. From the day I first came here and had something to eat here, I was amazed. Keene's Steakhouse is located right near Herald Square, home of the famous Macy's, Penn Station, and Madison Square Garden. It's a great spot to visit after an event at MSG or to refuel after a long day of holiday shopping. It's another NYC classic, having been open since 1885. Oozing with history and class, Keene's is a New York staple that you'll want to try. Keen's doesn't try to be anything that it's not. Among other swanky steakhouses throughout the city that have a modern and refined touch, Keen's stays true to its roots by being a high-quality, unassuming restaurant. It has a delicious raw bar along with great appetizers and side dishes, and of course, the steak menu is top tier. I loved my experience when I dined at Keen's. One of the free appetizers is a crudite platter with carrots, celery, and blue cheese, which is really unique and tasty. The prime filet mignon in the mushroom sauce is deliciously decadent. I recommend going with an empty stomach because everything is so rich in flavor and filling. Dining in an older restaurant with such rich history that is matched with amazing food is an overall experience that's definitely worth having. Taking it uptown to East Harlem, Ricardo's Steakhouse is definitely a hidden gem. It was established in 2004 and has a modern, trendy, casual vibe that welcomes diners looking for a nice date night, family dinner, casual get-together with friends, or even a special celebration. The menu has many options, which is great when dining with multiple people who have different preferences. Along with the delicious oysters at the raw bar, steak menu, and tasty sides, there's also an entire pasta selection for your carb-craving friends. When I went to Ricardo, I absolutely loved my experience. I really enjoyed the cocktail menu, which was anything but boring. I always appreciate a cocktail list with funny, unique names that draw you into trying something new. I tried the Crash Boat. The pretty drink is lethal. 
As for the food, I absolutely loved the surf and turf. The filet mignon is served with a balsamic glaze that is slightly tart, creamy, and flavorful. That flavor profile matched with the grilled shrimp, which have a very fresh and clean taste. If you're visiting New York City and want to explore all of the different neighborhoods, adding Ricardo's Steakhouse to your list is the perfect excuse to see Harlem. If you're looking to explore parts of New York City that you wouldn't normally visit and want a dining experience that is unique with great food, M. Wells is the place to go. Located in Long Island City, Queens, the bistro is somewhat of a hidden gem. From the exterior, it looks like a plain old garage. There's a small sign that says M. Wells with an arrow, but other than that, you'd have no idea that it was a restaurant. In terms of what could be a dining room, it could fit 270 people. The menu isn't like an ordinary steakhouse either. It has options like frog legs Provençal, fairy tale eggplant, and liver mousse banh mi. The alcohol list is also extensive. Chelsea Zurich, a Massachusetts native who has lived in Long Island City for many years, loves M. Wells. She shared that M. Wells feels like it's a speakeasy, with the exterior hiding the fact that it's really a nice steakhouse inside. She said that the steak is always delicious and loves that the menu changes often. Although M. Wells is pricey, Chelsea says that the food is worth it. The Palm is another great steakhouse option when you're visiting Times Square for some sightseeing or a Broadway show. The Palm first opened in New York City in 1926 and was a popular place for writers, actors, and artists to enjoy a meal. Now, The Palm has locations throughout the country in places like Boston, Washington, D.C., Chicago, Nashville, and more. In New York City, it's still seen as a theater district staple. The service is always top tier, proving that the restaurant's philosophy to treat guests like family, serve great food, and always exceed expectations is actually followed. I loved my experience when I dined at the Palm. The restaurant is a bit quirky. There are cartoons and caricatures that fill the walls. Great original artwork up and down on the second floor, the first floor, the hallways. New Marvel comic stuff, classic old stuff. Yeah, this is the real deal. The food, however, is much more elegant and upscale. I have a huge weakness for lobster bisque, and the one at the Palm is one of my favorites. The New York Strip is cooked perfectly and has some sort of seasoning salt on top that brings out the natural flavors. If you're willing to spend a good amount of money on a high-quality steak, the grill is the place for you. It offers a luxurious, fine dining experience, a specific dress code is enforced, and reservations are highly recommended. The Chop House is meant to transport patrons back to mid-century New York, and it successfully does so with the over-the-top decor and swanky music. The menu is thorough yet small, focusing on a few dishes per category. The appetizers are smaller and feature dishes like tuna ravigote and the seagram crab cake. There are a few soup and salad options as well. For entrees, you can choose chicken, lamb chops, or seafood. But if you come to the grill, you really should opt for a steak. The grill offers four types of steaks, filet mignon, New York strip, ribeye, and a porterhouse for two. The lowest price is the filet, which is $82, and the porterhouse for two is priced at $285. According to Peter Collin, a New York City lawyer who has dined at the grill often with clients, the steaks are done exquisitely well. Quality Meats is located at the base of Central Park on 58th Street. With exposed brick, dim lighting, and cozy seating, it's like stepping into someone's wine cellar. It's modern and stylish, and in terms of price, it's a great mid-range option. There are delicious cocktails, caviar sliders, a raw bar, fun appetizers like grilled bacon with peanut butter and jalapeno, and a great variety of entrees, including roasted chicken and kumquats. But you're here for the steaks, which range from a hanger steak with brandy cherries to a bone-in dry-aged prime sirloin to a dry-aged prime tomahawk rib steak. The desserts, including coconut cake, carrot ice cream cake, and sticky toffee pudding, are to die for. Catherine Winter, an actress in New York City, loves to head to Quality Meats to catch up with friends. She shared, the atmosphere is village chic. I could see the ladies of Sex in the City dining over their Cosmos and a delicious meal. Their steak frites are not to be missed, perfectly cooked and seasoned, and the best curly fries of my life. 212 Steakhouse is off the beaten path in both location and style. It's in Midtown East, which is a quieter but still bustling area in New York City. It has a bit of an Asian flair, with Kobe beef being one of its top menu items. 212 Steakhouse's website describes the meat as, quote, a harmony of delicate, dignified, sweet, lean meat and the taste and fragrance of melt-in-your-mouth fat. We haven't seen Kobe beef offered at any other steakhouses in New York. I've been lucky enough to dine at 212 Steakhouse. The food was presented in the most gorgeous way, but what was even better was that it tasted amazing. I actually opted for the spicy burger, and it was the best burger of my life. It lives rent-free in my head, and no burger will ever measure up to how good it was there. The steaks at the surrounding tables look like they were straight out of a magazine, and all of the customers seemed like they were in heaven eating them. Being located over on the east side, 212 Steakhouse doesn't particularly draw in many tourists or out-of-towners. Most of the diners are New 
New Yorkers themselves and love to come to the restaurant often for a good meal. It has almost 1,800 reviews on Google Maps and 4.5 stars, with many of the reviews done by local guides. Strongly recommended by New Yorkers themselves, 212 Steakhouse is one you've got to check out.